What's good, peoples? It's your boy back with another reaction. I'll be right to uh, Death Stranding launch trip. I was like, am I vision getting work? I mean, I have horrible stigmatism in my left eye. I have in both eyes, but it's particularly bad. My left eye also need new glasses. Glasses like five years old. <laughs> but yeah, Death Strand. I'm actually, for some real, I can't say weird reason. For some weird reason, <laughs> for some weird reason, um, I've become like more and more uh, interested in this game. I don't want to say excited, but because I know uh, Kojima's on it, and I mean, pretty much all of his games are pretty much love. Well, at least the uh, Metal Gear Solid games, but um, I don't know. It's something about this game. It just, it just maybe it's the uniqueness of it. I don't know. It's it's, it's something. The baby thing is kind of is interesting to me, and I've just other things that I've read about it. And I'm just like, this, I'm getting more and more interested. In it. Before I was like, I I might get in like uh, a year or something because. If you don't know, I normally don't get games when they first come out. I I might I'll wait two years for the price to go down before I get it. Unless it's a game I'm really excited for. But I mean in, in recent years the games that I have not followed that rule was uh Spider Man, which I still haven't fucking played. I bought the game and still haven't played it. I mean last year. Like I think a month after they came out and I still played it. I'm gonna do a playthrough of that. And uh God of War. Which I bought. I wanna get uh I think it's called Plague of Innocence or something. I wanna play that. I was I've I've seen uh, like a couple uh playthroughs of not like the whole playthrough, but like they play like the first twenty minutes or thirty minutes or something like that. But I've been wanting to get that game. Cause I heard it it's got really good reviews and a lot of people seem to like it. And I want to get I haven't gotten it yet. It's on sale, I think, on PlayStation. But it keeps saying, oh, I might get it. I might get it. I might, get it. And I might just go ahead and just get that. And I know that what the Fallen Order comes out is it, is it next month? I might have looked at that. But anyway, Death Stranding. Let's get into this. He. Blood. It's okay. Baby. I'll always be with you. No, I thought that was his name. I can never remember his name, so I just call him the Chief. Video games, they're gonna just pretty much be movies. Like interactive movies. Oh no, you get shot. Hey, churches, they did a uh, music on um, uh, Mirror's Edge, uh, was it Catalyst? I must say Calculus. Mirror's Edge Calculus, yes. Yeah, it's, it's like a uh, bad Leech is here. Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation, a symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. Love it. 
cyberpunk motorcycle. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them on. Voice sounds so familiar. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This is how we'll rebuild our country. He had to deal with the people of the army of two. Just... She's fine. Extinction's on hold for now. Is that Troy Baker? I'll be waiting for you on the beach. The game definitely looks beautiful. It definitely gets an A, an A plus. Uh, what was that thing in? What was the Never Ending Story? It was like the, uh, what's the tar pit problem? of sadness. Clean woman in a cave. I see. Aphanthosophobia. Sam, I owe you an apology. Who was the name you were going to give your old baby if he'd have made it? I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help, Amelie. She needs you. You have to break some ties to forge others. Keep me tied to everything. The world's still broken. The same as before. What isn't? Oh, still she a here. robot or something? We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Oh, it was a. Come on. You put him there. It's a. Uh, AS. Uh, uh, virtual reality of his wife. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. Jeez. The president was right about that much. Wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome now. Come on. Even I was welcome. I have a feeling he's gonna die at the end of this game. Troy Baker, that is true. What does that mean? It was Lansley Wagner. Extinctions each caused by an extinction entity. And now it's time for number six. Take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. It's done and not. No more. The decommissioning order finally came through. Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. He's gonna go get it. Those dog tags, right? Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. Oh, wow, that's deep. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Come and find me. Hmm. I'm not the only one wearing masks either. There's your boss man, and that woman, and oh, let's not forget little old you. Did I ever tell you my real name? You see the psychomancer. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except America was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. <laughs> I was like, kind of. 
something, bro. He's like, okay. You can touch me. Close your eyes. Now picture Amini in her age. You love her, right? You love her. There it is. What oh. the hell was that instant it's transmission? Sometimes I just I look at some of this stuff and it's like I read some things like how does this person think of this? Like I mean I'm reading stuff down, I'm just like how like some of that stuff just like this is in sick. I'm like, well people can't relate to it. I, I won't I ball that idea of rewrite something else. I guess you never know. You just keep writing. I mean, it may not it may be something you write that people won't even like in your time. Like how many writers in like the twentieth century or nineteenth century or whatever have written stuff and either people didn't like it then or they were afraid people were gonna like it so they didn't even try to publish it. And then it comes out decades later and they're like, Oh, this is the best thing. This person is the best writer that's ever written. Anything that's ever put pen to paper, so, you know, just you just never know. And this is when you see stuff. I'm like, I mean, I know Kojima knew about it. So obviously, he has writers and other people brainstorm with him stuff like this. But uh, to put all this together, yeah. man, it just it's just intriguing just watching that. And trying, and you also you trying to speculate. I hate. I almost I kind of hate speculation. Well, I don't hate speculation. I hate when people speculate and then try to make it like it's actually true or they get upset when it's not true or when they when their theory was wrong or something like that. And it should have been that. Like, you know, just like speculation is probably just, I hate when people do that. Or a rumor comes out and then people start spreading it like it's true. So I hate that. Even though people, the, the person uh, said that it, this is a rumor. They, and people just ignore it. It's almost like people who comment about article didn't read the article. They only read the headline. Like, you, know, you clearly tell you didn't read the article. Like, <laughs> but uh, man, that looks it. like it's. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm fighting with myself. I mean, it's not like whether I'm gonna get this game when it comes out or not. And that's another reason why I don't like to get games when they, on launch day or pre order because I've been burned before. Where there's where they where they're buggy, especially you know, nowadays where you don't have to, the game doesn't have I guess be finished I guess you can say I don't know I mean because did they get they can send patches and update fix stuff now I will say it's kind of I guess you said double edged sword where it's a good thing because back in the day when you bought it that was it, it that game you got just got the glitches now. Now they might fix those glitches, and then the next batch of games they sell, uh, they put they put out you know stores, it'll be fixed, and they they might say this is a different version, or they say it's been fixed or whatever. If it was a really bad, it was bad enough, they might say it, but then you might that's what you have to you have to there's I always wait, but uh, <laughs> this game looks it looks so good and it's just. I just, I'm more interested in the story, and I want to know the story. I hope the gameplay is good, because that's one thing about sometimes you see in games where they sacrifice gameplay for story. Uh, that's a problem I know there's some people have with uh, people I know that played uh, with uh, The Last of Us. They felt that it sacrificed too much for narrative storytelling. They sacrifice gameplay too much in order narrative storytelling. And 
I kind of agree, but also kind of disagree because I play the game and I still think the gameplay is is pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's not like uh, I was trying to think of another game, but it, I mean, it's not complex or anything like that. Even though I don't think it needs to be, but it's it's more simplistic as far as the gameplay. But it's fine for that game, you know. It's, and it's not like a point and click or something. It's not that complex. It's not that. Simplified. Uh, it, it is still his gameplay elements. But I think I think because that I also think some people think that the, the story is so story driven. The story is so story driven <laughs> that uh, that it feels like the, the 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 story is taking more presence over the game. And it's like this is a game, you know. It's kind of like a thing where I mean, I mean it's similar. It's not really saying it, but when people complained about Xbox. What was it? Uh, not was it, not the Xbox One, but the what was it the three six I think one, uh, where people was complaining about how it seemed that they were focusing on making Xbox an entertainment type box, like you just do everything, and rather than focusing on games and playing the games and stuff like that, and uh, and. PlayStation seemed to focus more on just games rather than uh, the entertainment, making a box just in about entertainment, you know, various things. And that's the thing, you try to do too much sometimes that you might alienate, you know, the, the, the core base of the people who bought that, they've been buying a game system, not a cable box, you know. I remember me and my friend, we kind of went back and forth. But like, I don't. Mine, I'm not one of those people like, oh, PlayStation is better than Xbox, or Xbox better play the hard, PC is better than like, it's just, I'm like, if you do whatever you want to, I do some PC gaming, I've never owned the Xbox, I own the play. only reason I bought PlayStation, because I'm not buying both, <laughs> I'm buying one and that's it, and I just went with PlayStation because, you know, I had a PlayStation back in the day, you know, I had a, had a and I, I had a PlayStation, and I bought, and it's, and I did buy the Tilt Six, well, I bought the Nintendo 64 when my brother gave me uh, the PlayStation. Play the PlayStation. Yeah, the PlayStation he gave me that. Because he had bought himself another one. At the time, I was too young. I had a job. And he had the job. So he said, like, I'll buy a PlayStation. Then you can just take this one with you. So I took that when I moved uh, with my father away. But anyway. And then I bought the Nintendo 64 with. Uh, like my allowance money that I was getting. I, well, I saved up for it and got my own. And then I ended up buying a PlayStation 2. And my dad bought me the PlayStation 2 for my birthday. Well, I think I was 15 or something. I don't know. But it's all the time my teenager. But yeah. And it's like, it doesn't say you focus on that. But anyway, I'm getting off on a bunch of unrelated stuff, trying to piece like little comparisons. But it's good, not really. But anyway, this game looks. Awesome. I might get it. I don't know. There's other games I want to get. And they're coming out soon. I'm actually kind of glad they pushed back. Uh, they just pushed back a game I was going to get. I think it comes out March 2020. Uh, it wasn't Dying Light. It was another game. Last of Us. Yeah, you, uh, they just pushed that back. Not, I'm gonna say Ubisoft, uh, Naughty Dog just pushed that back. But, uh, yeah. Kind of glad they <laughs> pushed that back. So, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me I don't want to get, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get everything back to me because I'm like, I'm going to play one game at a time. Well, I can play two, really, but still, I like to play one game at a time. You'll play two games and you start, when you remember the controls for one game, you and it mess up the control, you mess up the control the next game you play, like, ah, uh, that's, <laughs> I try to do two Let's Plays like that in the same day playing like two games and that shit did not work. <laughs> I was dying trying to shoot with one button but the buttons were different in another game and it you know, was rough. Anyway, yeah, I can't wait. For, oh man, yeah, I think I might end up buying this. Yeah, I'm doing a playthrough of it or something. Like that. But anyway, that's the end of my reaction. I want to hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you did not, hit that thumbs up button anyway. Make sure to 
like like i said subscribe share comment i'll see y'all next week peace